What's up, Sun Rays? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ray. If you're new here, welcome. Today I am going to be doing a review of the Not Your Mother's Naturals Essential Moisture Coconut Milk and Agave Nectar Shampoo and Conditioner. If you guys remember, I picked this up a while ago. I did an unboxing and these were in it. So I'm trying to remember where I got these from. I want to think Ulta. I want to think Ulta was having a sale. I've had them for a while, got rid of the boxes and everything, so I'm not sure, but I believe Ulta was having a sale, and I picked these up from Ulta. And I picked up the coconut uh, milk and agave nectar line because that is what sounded good to me. The agave nectar, the coconut milk, it just made it sound real creamy and nice, and so I wanted to try them out. So I did, I recently used these and I have some thoughts on them. So let's go ahead and talk about the shampoo. So the shampoo is supposed to restore hair's essential moisture, is 98% um, naturally derived ingredients. And basically, you know how to shampoo your hair. You put it in, work it through, rinse it out, yada, yada, yada. So it does have somewhat of a coconut smell, but if I remember correctly, when I was using it, the smell was just okay. It wasn't anything that I was like, oh wow, this smells really good. It didn't smell bad. It just smelled like an artificial coconut smell. It was very light as, um, as a matter of fact, and I had to kind of keep smelling it to see if I can even tell what the scent was. Um, it says right here medium moisture level. So I didn't know that they, I didn't realize that they had their moisture levels on here. So it said medium moisture level. With this, I would say that it does lather really well. I believe that it does cleanse the hair. Um, to me, it's not one that I would detangle with. Like some conditioners are really moisturizing that I could actually detangle with them in the shower. This one, I would not do that with. I do feel like this one um, was not as moisturizing as I was expecting it to be. I'm going to say that. I did um, use this two different ways. So one time I used it as a second cleanse after a clarifying shampoo. And when I use this for the second cleanse, I could tell that it was softening my hair. It was getting rid of you know the extra tangles that were in my hair or any leftover tangles that were in my hair. Um, so it did do that. When I used it the second time, I used it alone as the first and second wash. And I do feel like it felt more moisturizing coming alone as opposed to a, after a clarifying shampoo. So I will say that. So if you are someone who struggles with dry hair or you're someone who had a lot of gook in your hair and you went in with a clarifying shampoo first and then you go in with this, this may not feel as good to you because it just, does enough it doesn't go over the top with moisture and stuff like that um would i finish it up yeah i'll finish it up would i repurchase it mm, probably not i mean y'all know my whole saying if i'm on vacation somewhere and i just happen to go into a drugstore and this was in there and i needed something i'd pick it up I wouldn't mind um, picking it up. It, I believe it's affordable. I need to look at what the price is. I can't even remember now, but I know that I got it on sale. I'm not sure what the regular price is, but you do get a lot. You get 15.2 fluid ounces. So I believe it's a more affordable um, brand. And yeah, if you have to leave it behind or something, that wouldn't be such a big deal, right? Okay, so after I, I used the shampoo, I did go in with the oh let me say this too this did rinse clean i didn't feel a whole lot of um anything left behind but once i rinsed it out of my hair my hair did feel like it needed moisture okay it did feel like it needed moisture so that that softening and everything that i got initially with the suds and stuff mm, didn't last okay so then i went in with the conditioner to the line and um, it and it has a similar smell to it it is somewhat thick now what I will say about this conditioner so it is somewhat thick does spread nicely throughout the hair and it did start to soft 
thin my hair. I could feel a little bit of moisture going into my hair and I definitely could detangle with this. Does it have the amount of slip that I look for in a rinse out conditioner? No. It doesn't have as much slip as I uh, would like, but it did soften enough for me to detangle my hair. But of course I detangle under the water and everything else. So I don't have a real difficult time detangling anyway, but I was able to detangle with it. I'll say that um, it is not one that I would say, oh, pick this up. It has so much slip. It's not that. It's not that. So I left it on as I went around all four quadrants of my hair and then I rinsed it out. Once I rinsed it out, my hair no longer felt moisturized. I actually felt like I needed to use a deep conditioner because what I was going to do was just use these two and then go in with a leave-in and my styler. But after I used these two, I felt like I needed to deep condition. So there you go. Again, would I use it up? Yes, I'll definitely use these two up. However, I don't know that they would be something that I would repurchase. Um... So there you go. There's other things that I like better, but I'm glad I was able to use them. I'm glad that I was able to bring them to you guys and give you thoughts on them. Like I said, I think they're reasonable. I think they're okay products. They're not top of the line, but they're not, far, they're definitely not the worst I've ever tried. Okay. So I think that they do the job the shampoo definitely cleans which is what a shampoo is supposed to do and the conditioner definitely softens enough to be able to detangle and add a little bit of moisture in your hair while you're detangling so it does what it's supposed to do there i just don't think that um it will be something that i would repurchase so that's that after I used these two, I went in with the Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Ultimate Nutrition Butter Mask because I picked it up in the same sale. And this is one that is highly talked about. If I remember correctly, it was Sheree Del Sol that said that she really liked this. And this has a this has a nice pleasant scent, very um kind of sweet but but light just a light pleasant scent to it and i used it a couple times as well so first time i used this i used this after using a shampoo that i really love and then when i put this in i was like wow yeah this is nice <laughs> this is nice okay it had a lot of slip it just seeped into my hair really nicely I can definitely de detangle my hair with this so that was good I was like okay 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 the next time I use this I use this after those two products and um, it was still good but it wasn't as good as it was the first time but again those two products didn't give me the same moisture level that I got with some of my other products um, that I used prior so this had a little bit more work to do after those okay and I could tell the difference so again I was able to detangle my hair with this after those this did add that extra boost of moisture that I needed that that conditioner did not leave and um, once I rinsed it out my hair felt soft while I was rinsing it out but what I will say about this is um, this particular wash day after I used those, went in with this, rinsed this out, I went straight in to using a mousse. So I didn't add a leave-in to my hair. And by the time I got up here and started to add the mousse to my hair, my hair was already a little damp and my hair felt pretty dry. So I'll say that. So with that being said, I didn't feel like the moisture lasted, okay? The first time I used it after the things that I liked better, I really couldn't tell whether the moisture lasted because I rinsed this out and then I went right in with a leave-in, okay? So with that being said, I'm on the fence with this. I wanna try this again to get my final thoughts on it. I think it's good. I don't think that it's great. I don't think it's better than some of the other deep conditioners that I have because I do have other deep conditioners that I can deep condition my hair, come up here, not use a leave-in. My hair will start to dry out just because the water is being absorbed and there's nothing in it, but my hair doesn't necessarily feel dry and parched. 
if you understand what I'm saying. It feels more dry because there's no water in it, not because it just didn't get the um, moisture in it that from deep conditioning, if you know what I'm saying. So I wanna try this again. And it could just be, like I said, it had a lot of work to do after those because I just didn't feel like I got the moisture out of those that I wanted. So I'm gonna use this again. I got one more use in here anyway. Yeah, I probably got just one use in here anyway. So this gave me about three uses, it's 10 ounces. Um, so I got one more use in here anyway. And then once it's in my empties, I'll tell you at that time uh, whether it would be something that I will repurchase. I can tell you now that I probably would. Again, if I was out, I needed something really quick. I definitely would pick this up. Would I pick this up over some of my other love deep conditioners? Probably not. So I'll leave it at that. But that doesn't mean that I would never pick this up again. But I do want to reuse it. And then I want to give you my final thoughts on it as to whether or not I think it's something that you guys should pick up, that you should try. And I want to see if it um, if it works behind some other shampoos and conditioners. Okay? So, hopefully this helps you guys. I don't know. I don't know if it helped or not, but um, hopefully it did. Hopefully I answered all your questions. If I did not and you have other ones, leave them down in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them down there. But all in all, I feel like Not Your Mother's um, is not bad. These are the first products I think I've tried from Not Your Mother's. So it's my first introduction to the brand. Okay, so take that into consideration as well. Um, I'm used to, you know, you, you're used, you know what products I'm used to. So with that being said, these products are considered a little, you know, less expensive. I believe they have pretty good ingredients, um, in them, but are they as good a ingredients as some other products that I use? I don't know. Probably not. I didn't go into a whole lot of the ingredients on these. I'm gonna let you know that as well. Um, I'm gonna let you do that for yourself. But yeah, my initial thoughts are they're good. They're something that I would pick up if I was in a hurry. Um, they're not something that I would continue to purchase and have as a holy grail staple in my collection. There you go. Let me know if you try these products and if you like them. If you did, leave the, all that in the comment section below. Let me know which products out of the Not Your Mother's brand that you use, which your favorites. Share it with the audience so we all can learn from your experience. And guys, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys.